non-league was it really more just focused on trying to work on some techniques rather than uh, looking at overall no we were working on winning <laughs> then uh yeah i mean i mean <laughs> we got out played out worked out hustled out energized out shot out we might out rebound that's about it um no that was that was more than a practice and a scrimmage. And the reason it's so late in the season is because it got rescheduled. Mm -hmm. Originally it was for last month, but some finals or something, mm -hmm. or a SAT or something got in the way, so they had to reschedule it. That's why it's so late. It's kind of awkward but for the last, you know, basically the last week of the regular season. You know, did, or second to last week. Did that kind of change the attitude, the fact that it was non-league kind of thrown into the mix? Of, you know, I don't know. Like, um, for me it didn't. For me, I'm looking at that as that's just another another builder going into a, you know, an extra game to warm up on to go into a, our final two um, league matches. Um, no playing time is better than court time, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, didn't work out for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, as far as the final score. Did some good things, did a lot of bad things. But uh, they're a really good team. I mean, excellent team, excellent shooters. I mean, the works, really. I mean, and, uh, you know, some people struggled tonight. We had uh, we had uh, we had to change it up a little tonight. Um, you know me pretty well. I don't like to make excuses, but you know, um, had some kids out or had a kid out. Um, so it changes stuff up mm -hmm. and makes it to where you're out of your routine a little bit. So right. Maybe that had to do with it a little bit. So with um, two games left in the season, uh, what are you looking to get out of these last couple of games? Um, really, I mean, gosh, I mean, for the for the sake of the seniors, I, you know, I want them to go off the bank. You know, their last two games, basically, unless we win and something miraculous happens on the other league games, that'd be about the only way we'd even have a chance. Uh, but yeah, seniors go out with a bang, have a good memory. You know, and finish that season off at a high instead of a instead of a low. And then, as far as like the two juniors coming back next year, and uh, sophomores that are on the you know on the on the varsity squad, 
and for the freshmen that aren't on the varsity squad, you know, mm -hmm. end on a positive note, uh, play good solid basketball games, get wins hopefully, do good things that takes us into summer ball, summer camp, and then uh, and then next season, and that's what I'm looking for in the next, you know, mm -hmm. next two games. Um, so your team has changed over the course of the season in terms of lineup. You've had some great achievements. You've faced some tough <laughs> adversity throughout. Uh, how have you seen your, your team evolve over the course of the season? Um, yeah, you're right. Roller coaster ride. Holy cow. All season long. It, I mean, it's something new every single week, it seems like. And, and uh, you know, when you say evolve, the first thing pops in my head is, we have evolved. We've evolved in some really good ways, and we've evolved in some really bad things too. And unfortunately, evolving doesn't isn't always positive. Now, I'd like to try to think of the positive all the time, but that's not my job. <laughs> my job is to correct the negative or the the bad outcomes. But mm -hmm. um, no, we've done a lot of really good things this year. And uh, as far as what I can see, using the word evolve. Um, for many of our players, mental attitude, um, you know, how to come back from a situation, heart, that kind of thing. That's really been a pretty consistent thing this year. Um, and that's going off of last year as well. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty encouraging thing that I would like to continue to, to grow. And, uh, and then you really see it at the JV level that they believe they're starting to believe, you know, and, uh, unfortunately losses don't help you believe. Um, so it's hard for kids, you know, um, if you're winning, you're having fun and you're going to want to continue to win and you're going to get a little attitude about it. You're going to get a chip on your shoulder, so to say, and it's going to continue the process, make it fun for you. It makes you want to work harder in practice, make you want to, succeed more um and so to get these fellas on a winning track you know it's no small feat and so if we can get them on a winning track which is a long-term out outcome or goal of mine um, it'll set the stage up for them to want to be successful mm -hmm. um and you know that's like i said a long-term goal and that's really that takes in more than basketball um, it's got to follow through all sports, football, baseball, track. They've all got to buy into this winning attitude. Um, and like I said, how we get there, that's, it's no small feat. It's a, it's a challenge, but constantly working on it, you know, and that, but that's, you know, that's what I want to see. That's how I want to evolve. Um, that's in the direction we're heading. 